Today's the day of the solar eclipse, and here are some of the times for some communities in southern Michigan. Of course, it's not a total eclipse for us. You need to travel a little bit farther to the south for that. Here is the path of totality, and uh, we take a look at a few communities. Uh, the Dallas area, it should be right around uh, 1.40 p.m. local time. Uh, we head a little farther to the north. Uh, it takes us into Indiana and Ohio. Of course, a lot of folks from Michigan going there to see it. Uh, Indianapolis area, Muncie, Bloomington, uh, just before 3.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Then we move into Ohio and the Cleveland area. This should be about 3.15 p.m. And then the eclipse continues up into the northeastern portion of the nation and eventually into New Brunswick, Canada. Now you can watch all of this unfold on the great television stations across the nation. Visit WILX.com and go on our live stream this afternoon and you can watch it in cities as it works its way to the northeast. Well, weather-wise today, the weather is going to cooperate for viewing of the eclipse in many localities, including us. This is our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. The early morning rain long gone at noon. We should have some sunshine. Now, there might be a few clouds that just kind of brush by the southeastern portion of the state around 3 p.m. I think there'll be breaks in those clouds if they happen at all. Now, uh, we go through tonight. We are clear most of tonight. It's very late tonight. A few clouds move in, and we might wake up up to a stray shower early on Tuesday. That does not last long and uh, we spend a good portion of the day on Tuesday partly cloudy. Our forecast for today, it is a mostly sunny day, warmer than yesterday, topping out at 73 degrees. Again, most of tonight were clear. Late tonight, some clouds move in and maybe a shower. Our low tonight, 47 degrees. Just that very small chance of a stray shower early on Tuesday were partly cloudy, a high near 70. Wednesday, partly cloudy, a high of 64. A pretty good chance of rain Thursday and Friday with highs in the mid-50s. Right now, next weekend looks dry with high temperatures in the 60s.